Welcome to Nacio TV, the Sake News Channel. And I asked them, you know, what programs do we have for the business community? And um, I noticed that um, there was a lack of networking. Uh, everybody was working on their own. Nobody knew uh, the next business owner. Uh, nobody knew their neighbor. And, and the worst of it was that the city uh, was kind of closed to um, home, uh, to uh, city owners. And, and that, um, once I got elected, I realized even even more. When I sat down with my UEC director and redevelopment director, that because uh, a day before, a gentleman that owns a, um, a laundromat, a family-owned laundromat, came to my office and said, uh, you know, Dr. Blanco, I'm looking for help. My, um, my boiler uh, broke and um, I, I need a, some type of loan that you can help me because I cannot raise the money um, uh, soon enough. So I called my uh, UBC director and, and asked him, you know, what programs do we have? There's different towns that have the same, the same programs and they're running well. There's different towns that have a lot more programs that we do. We only have a couple of UBC programs. But of course, that was back then when there was money. Now it's a different story. But just to give you an example of, of how the city uh, was handling the, the business owners, uh, I, have, I have a model that the more we offer, the better a community gets. And that's the reason um, for, this, for this meeting, to enhance uh, the business community. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I inherited a $1.6 million deficit uh, when I first came in. And um, I hired a, a great business administrator and tried to surround myself with the best. Uh, I think you as business owners understand that. Uh, if the head is working properly, you need uh, supervisors that are in, in, in accordance with your, with your vision, that are following uh, your, your footsteps, not working against you. And that was some of the problems that I found when I entered City Hall. Some, some of, the, of the supervisors were working against me. And um, as business owners, you know that doesn't, the, a city where business doesn't thrive that way. So I got myself a, a new business administrator, uh, eager and, and with full of ideas. And, and most importantly, a new UEC director uh, and also a redeveloper, our, our main guy, Ricky Fernandez. <laughs> I, I remember uh, Ricky uh, a long time ago, as you probably um, encounter uh, many uh, situations with him. Um, he's hardcore Passaic. I mean, the guy loves Passaic just as much as, as we do. And he knows, he knows the, the ins and outs of the city. He knows the past. He knows the present. And he has a great vision. He's very, very ambitious. And, and he has a, a great vision for the city of Passaic. And that's what we need. We need to work together with the people that really care about our city, that have uh, an understanding of what Passaic is. Because this is not Montclair. This is not uh, Morristown. This is Passaic, a very diverse city with different, different needs. And that leads me to. Uh, what's going on with, a, with our budget. As you know, we elected a new governor, and uh, the first thing he did was he cut our state aid. Uh, Passaic, uh, it's, it's very dependent on property taxes. We don't have big companies to bring tax revenues. We don't have any other, any other big income except state and federal uh, income. And by uh, the governor cutting $3 million to our budget, that really hurt us. Because the $1.6 million that uh, I inherited, and we were closing that gap uh, with the uh, renegotiations of the garbage and, and the dispatchers, we we're, we're uh, making civilians do the work, and that's, that's saving us about $1.2 million. Uh, we were getting uh, there. We were getting to close the budget. But that $3 million that the, the governor uh, cut hit us really, really hard. And that's uh, the problem that we're having now. Not only the $3 million, but the short amount of time that we have. We only have a few months to close that gap. So uh, that got us into negotiations with the PBA and the fire unions and, and employees. Think outside the box uh, with furlough days and, and other um, initiatives that, that we're trying to do. It's hard because of the amount of time. But uh, I guess it's also that, that people don't understand the economic crisis that we're living in and that we have to work together and make sacrifices together. And that's what I'm doing with my administration. We're gonna we're gonna cut straight. Uh, we're not discriminating anybody. Uh, all the unions are, are gonna be uh, in the process. They're gonna have to share sacrifices. But um, this this meeting, I, I want to make it uh, as an intro and and the platform for what is come to to 
to be, what is going to be the business community in the city of Passaic. I believe in Passaic. I was raised here, and I think we can do we can do a lot, a lot better. Uh, another another big issue that um, I had was uh, when I first came in and, and, and asked questions about the Eighth Street site, uh, the panel site, and the 663 uh, uh, Main Ave building. Is that it's been stagnant for years, 20 years. My mother used to work in, in 8th Street when, when there were factories there, and we burned down in 83. I remember her walking down there from, from Oak Street to 8th Street. Uh, she, used to, she used to walk there. There was no taxi, she had no money for it. She was making three bucks an hour. And uh, when, when, once that, those factories burned down, it caused a lot of, a lot of problems for the city of Passaic, not only unemployment, but tax revenue. Uh, and those sites, they've been, they've been empty for so long. And I, I never understood why. So that was the first thing that I, I tried to revive. You know, what are we going to do with those sites? Unfortunately, as you know, the economy is bad. Developers um, are a little worried about investing. But uh, we are we're trying our best, best to, to redevelop those sites. Um, one big problem is that they're privately owned. They're not owned by the city with the uh, landowner. But we let me just tell you that we have different Developers already looking into the properties, uh, willing to, to invest in the city of Passaic. So it's just now a matter of time and, and how the economy is going to turn around. Concerning the uh, 663 main app, uh, as you know, um, a big, big uh, step was, was taken by the UEZ. Controversial, I, I, I must say, a few years ago when they invested about $3.8 billion to clean uh, the building. A lot of criticism, but, you know, it was the best thing that, that it was done. The asbestos was clean. Uh, it was it was made ready for a developer to come in, and I think uh, it was a, a great. Welcome to Nacio TV.